Hello and welcome. My name is Jason Marcello and this is Cuckoo Part 2. On the first video we talked about the first djembe part or accompaniment that we'll be playing. So in this one we're just going to keep moving forward. And um, again, like the first video, I'm going to teach it with traditional handing first and then we'll move on to alternate handing and talk about the differences. So like I mentioned in the last video, spaces are a lot harder or rests are a lot harder to play in a lot of cases than the actual notes or the contacts with the drum. So we'll sometimes add in some ghost notes or some, uh, you'll see some djembe players as they're keeping time they'll actually do some showboating and stuff like that. It looks really cool but a lot of times what they're doing is just marking where the pulse is. So the tricky thing about the next one we're going to do and the next one we're going to learn right now is um, it skips over the pulse at one point in time. So this one kind of looks something like this. So we're starting with our dominant hand in the middle, and then two tones, ending with the slap. So if we were to be keeping time though, it sounds like there's a there's an extra pop in there that we're missing. If we were going bop, 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 bass two tone slap. Hi and welcome, my name is Jason Marcello, and this is Cuckoo Part 2. So in the first part we talked about um, one of the more simpler uh, cuckoo accompaniments and this one we're going to move right forward and get into the next one. So like in the first one I mentioned um, spaces and rests are often a lot harder to play than the actual notes or contact with the drum. So um, again we're going to learn this one traditional handing first and then we'll talk about alternate handing. Um, this one's kind of tricky because at one point in time it does jump off of from where the pulse is. So keeping an, uh, being aware of where the pulse is is pretty important for this one. You don't want to drift or move things too close together. So first I'll play it and let you know what it sounds like. So it sounds like... Bass, tone, tone, slap. So again, I started with my dominant hand, which I'm right-handed, in the middle, and then to the rim. So this one actually, if you play traditional handing, again, it's very right hand or dominant hand heavy. So I'm going bass, tone, slap, bop. Oh. Mm. So you'll notice there's actually one of the pulses we're not playing on. So if I were to go, bam. so to make sure that that space between the is perfect is very key. Again, when you're playing with a whole group of people, if everyone's not tight on this one, or people start to rush ahead, um, and put the notes closer together, then everyone's going to get lost, it's going to train wreck. So make sure that you keep that space really key, um, very important. So to play this alternate handing, when you have it good and tight, and it's ingrained in muscle memory and all that stuff, that's when you can break the rule. So the alternate handing would be alternate handing, so bass, and then end with the slap on the left hand. and so on and so forth. So again, that what that'll do is it'll work your muscles evenly, but until you have it done properly with the traditional handing, I would stick with that. So that's Cuckoo, part two. Thanks for watching.